Good morning friends. Today's topic is transradial approach. A tips for the patient selection for the beginners. As you all know that transradial approach has a definite learning curve. So you have to be quite selective, quite choosy and quite discriminative in initial stages to get good results with reasonably high success. Even if you are an experienced femoral operator and if you want to start radial, you have to face a new learning curve. And for that, you have to be discriminative in choosing your patients. To start with, I would strongly recommend the beginners to choose at least a medium frame patient. A large or a medium frame patient with a good palpable radial pulse and a reasonably good size wrist is very important. It means that you are working on a reasonably big size radial artery. So your puncture becomes easy. Always perform Allen test. Although many international authorities they recommend that Allen test is irrelevant and whether you do it or not it doesn't make any difference. However, for beginners I strongly recommend that any case with abnormal Allen test please avoid using radial root. Thirdly, always choose the right radial approach for initial 100 or 200 cases not because of anything else but to work from the left radial approach is a bit inconvenient for you particularly when you are still in your learning curve. Avoid very unstable patients because you have to complete the procedure fast. A patient with very severe unstable angina, a hypotensive patient, a hemodynamically unstable acute myocardial infarction patient, all these are falling in category of unstable patients, avoid them. Bypass graft intervention, avoid in initial 50, 100 or 200 cases depending on your convenience and your comfort level with this approach. Also, make sure that when you puncture radial and you are not successful with the first heat or second heat or third heat, never make it an ego issue. Always give it to the person who is standing by the side of you. Even if he, is a, he or she is a junior person, they may be successful. Unlike femoral puncture, radial puncture is a different ball game and the most experienced of the radial operators also face the problem of unsuccessful radial puncture. And I am also not an exception to the rule. Whenever I find it difficult after two or three or four hits to puncture the radial artery, many times I hand it over to my colleague and most of the times we are successful and vice versa is also true. Another important thing is try to avoid doing the peripheral interventions because again it is a different area. You concentrate yourself to the regular coronary, native coronary angiograms and native coronary interventions, relatively straightforward single vessel or multi vessel native coronary interventions and once you reach a particular comfort level and confidence with this approach you can start doing anything and everything. Last but not the least, always keep the groin ready. 
be very frank and truthful with your patient explaining that you are going to work on him through radial approach which is new for you however the benefits are many you may give them the idea of the benefit and simultaneously tell the patient that if I fail I will work through the groin and this is the practice I have done in first 100 or 200 cases of my practice in the beginning and I had no problem convincing any of my patients. By doing the, this you are mentally comfortable and you are extremely you know at ease to perform a good procedure on your patients. Post procedure management make sure that you remove the sheath immediately and uh, could give a good compression for diagnostics. For intervention if you are using a TR band you make sure that you are using a TR band on a radial puncture site which is a good radial puncture site for a TR band which is a bad radial puncture site for TR band a high puncture if you have punctured relatively high, don't use TR band, always go for manual compression. Or the adverse anatomy or a different anatomy of the radial artery, a very lateral lie of the radial artery, TR band is never effective. Again, you have to give a local compression to uh, manual compression to stop the bleeding and give a bandit. If you use the occlusion devices in high puncture or a very lateral radial artery lie then you are surely heading for a good big forearm hematoma which is a very unpleasant experience not only for the patient but for you also so that's all thank you